So I've been working on uh, the Agnes Martin exhibition for about three years, and I've been working with my colleague Tiffany Bell, who's also the author of uh, the catalogue resume on Agnes Martin. So she has a wide knowledge of the whereabouts and the history of the artist's work. One of the reasons we wanted to do The Martin Show is that we have a history of Tate, at Tate Modern of really trying to bring artists who might be in the shadow back into prominence and exploring you know, for audiences who might not be familiar with the work. Agnes Martin is perhaps the least known of the most famous American artists, if I can put it like that. She's somebody that we all know intimately as the author of the grid paintings, the elusive grid paintings. It's almost impossible to see them in reproduction. And so we wanted to do some research and really uncover uh, the story of how Agnes Martin got to the grid. So this exhibition really, it, it celebrates her wonderful late work, but also interrogates her journey and her encounters with other artists and her personal journey, if you like, to arrive at her mature stance. And uh, it's been a challenge because the work is so uh, uh, difficult to reproduce. Often you can sort of select an exhibition, at least the outline, by looking at the catalogues. But Martin didn't exhibit very much in her lifetime. In fact, the last retrospective was in the early 90s. And as I say, it's almost impossible to see the work in reproduction so we did a lot of traveling and we went to see a lot of works in private collections and in institutions and we took a magnifying glass and we took notebooks and so we built up a picture of what might be possible.